Hey guys, how's it going today? We're gonna make some sweet potato and bacon hash with some garlic and thyme chicken. It's a nice easy meal that you can make in bulk for the week, perfect for meal prep. So let's get to work. First dice up some sweet potatoes into some decent sized chunks. This is gonna be in the oven for a while so we can go a little rough with the knife work. Next, we're going to dice an onion into medium-sized pieces. Next, we're going to move on to some red peppers, giving them a rough chop. And some big old portobello mushrooms, give them a wipe down and also a rough chop. We're gonna dice up some bacon here. We're gonna cook this and set it to the side to use later. Render down all that fat. We're actually gonna use this in a sec and get that bacon nice and crispy. And you can drain out all the cooked bacon. Be sure to get every last delicious piece. Take this delicious hot bacon fat and pour it all over the vegetables. We're going to roast the vegetables in this bacon fat. I left a little in the pan. I'm actually going to cook the chicken in that. So on the vegetables, we got salt, herbs de Provence, and pepper. A little olive oil too. Give that a toss and put it in the biggest roasting pan you can find. This is going to go in the oven at 450 degrees for around 30 minutes or until the potatoes are soft. Next we're going to move on to the chicken. We're going to pick through a whole bunch of thyme and run the knife through that a little bit. Next we're going to mince up some garlic. A little bit of olive oil and add that chicken in. Some salt, pepper. Ideally you're going to want to do this the day before and let it marinate, but if you are lazy and procrastinate like me, you did it the day of. So we're going to sear this chicken on both sides, not cooking it through, just a couple minutes on both sides and then set it on a baking sheet. And that's gonna go in the oven at 450 degrees as well. And now's a good time to give those vegetables a stir. The chicken's done when it's at 160 degree internal temperature. Use a meat thermometer for this. Uh, this took me about 15 minutes. Once the vegetables are done, you can put the crumbled bacon that we set aside earlier over them and we're ready to plate.